Today on MTG Unpacked we have a bonus snack. We have four packs of Born of the Gods. These are in the Theros block. We're taking a tour through the whole block. And with me I have Ajani and Chandra. And Ajani doing the pack blessing duties today. And we'll see if that makes any difference at all to our pools. Alright, we start off with a Nyxborn Triton, Swordwise Centaur, Epiphany Storm, Hold at Bay, Marsh Mist Titan, Necrobite, Kragma Butcher, Loyal Pegasus, Elite Skirmisher, Mortals Resolve, and uh, Uncommons we have Ferris Band Raiders, Pinnacle of Rage, Siren of the Silent Song, and the rare is Whims of the Fates. So this is starting with you. Each player separates all permanents he or she controls into three piles, and each player chooses one of his or her piles at random and sacrifices those permanents. Piles can be empty. Interesting. I wonder how that works out. Island and a bird token. Okay, next pack. And we get another Nyxborn Triton. Swordwise Centaur, Epiphany Storm, Hold at Bay, Marsh Mist Titan, we have a bit of uh, deja vu here, Deepwater Hypnotist, Nyxborn Shieldmate, Fall of the Hammer, Karametra's Favor, Oreskos Sun Guide, and the uncommon is a storm cooler of Karanos. Ornithatch. It's a bit of a mouthful. Vortex Elemental and an Eidolon of Countless Battles. Okay, what is this? Enchantment Creature Spirit has the bestow ability. You cast this card for its bestow cost, it's an aura spell with enchant creature, it becomes a creature again if it's not attached to a creature. So I learn of countless battles and enchanted creature each get plus one plus one for each creature you control and plus one plus one for each aura you control. Alright, forest and a cat soldier. No, maybe maybe there isn't a resemblance there. Let me know in the comments if you think there is. Maybe they're distant cousins. Okay, pack number three. We have a Nyxborn Wolf. Evanescent Intellect. Epiphany Storm. Servant of Timoret. Nice zombie there. Great Heart. Snake of the Golden Grove. Elite Skirmisher. Oreska Sun Guide. Divination. Nyxborn Rollica. A Crowan Phalanx is the uncommon. Vanguard of Brimaz and yet there's another Lion Cat Soldier. Got a couple of these now. Acolyte's Reward and Fated Return is the rare. It's an instant put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. It gains indestructible. If it's your turn, scry two. That's some pretty cool artwork there. And planes and a soldier token. Alright, last pack. We 
we get a war chanter of Mogus, the Minotaur Shaman. Interesting. Forsaken Drifters, Revoke Existence, Nyxborn Wolf, Evanescent Intellect, Asphyxiate, Fall of the Hammer, Cyclops of One Eyed Pass. Crypsis, Culling Mark, Kiora's Follower is the uncommon, Mischief and Mayhem, Ragemonger, there's another cool Minotaur, and a Hero of Liner Tower is the rare. So, Human Warrior. With Heroic, whenever you cast a spell that targets Hero of Liner Tower, you may pay X. If you do, put X plus one plus one counters on Hero of Liner Tower. Seems decent. And Swamp. And, oh, nice uh, different zombies there with masks. It's pretty creepy. Alright, so there we have it more Born of the Gods. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings and have a great day.